Welcome to Learning with Guts. I'm your host, Mr. Dystopian. Today we will be taking on our first shard bearer of the game, Godric the Grafted. If you find yourself not fit to be grafted, worry not, you can still like and subscribe, and I'll have you graftier than a dragon in Stormville within the next five minutes. Now let's get to it. Step one. If you thought Margaret's delayed swings were bad, brace yourself for off-timing city because this guy is coming in right out of the gate with the two and a half second wind up on his first swing. Roll towards at the last moment to avoid it. Step 2. When you see him raising his axe towards the sky, he's coming at you with another delayed heavy, but this one has massive reach. Roll to the right or left to avoid it. Step 3. Godric the Grafted has a lot of heavy attacks. This means he will have a lot of openings. As a strength build, I respond with heavy attacks of my own, one of my favorites being the heavy jump attack. Step 4. Here he's coming out with a double AoE attack. He always laughs when he does this, so it should be easy to know when to get out of dodge. He'll have this delayed smash, and a moment later the aftershock will occur. Also note that you can jump to avoid these ground smashes. Don't forget to retaliate after the second wave. Step 5. Godric is going to ask you to bow before him prior to unleashing a series of sideways swings. You can time your dodges or walk behind him and casually avoid all of the attacks. Retaliate. Step 6. Avoid greed. You might be hitless and feeling good, and you're gonna think, hey, why don't I give him an extra smack for good measure? That's when the boss whoops out his aerial AoE with no charge time. Luckily, the first whirlwind doesn't do too much damage, but you should be hightailing it out of there. Now this is actually one of my favorite attacks, as it has a big dancy wind up followed by a heavy smash. So to summarize, you get two axe swinging whirlwinds, followed by a whirlwind stomp, then he starts rolling towards you while punching in between rolls. On his second roll, he will leap into the air, and come down with a heavy axe smash. Retaliate. Step 7. In most cases in this game, if you're able to keep up the pace in combat and respond to as many of the enemy's attacks as possible, you can usually break their poise and do a critical hit. Step 8. Once you have Godric at half health, he will enter his second phase. During this time, you can go absolutely ham on him, inflicting as much damage as possible before he begins to attack again. Step 9. As soon as the cutscene finishes, you should already be sprinting towards him as he prepares his fire-breathing attack. Jump, roll, or walk on behind him to show him the air of his ways. Note, this is the attack from step 6, except this time, instead of laughter, the dragon opens his mouth and roars, and the wind will be covered in fire. You can still dodge the same as before, and you will either jump and smash, or toss two projectiles, in which case you roll towards. Note, a good time to heal is any time you would have otherwise been attacking. Note, this is the revamped version of the attack in step 4, except this time it's two rapid smashes followed by a delayed bigger smash. So make sure you get some distance, time your rolls, or simply jump to avoid the shockwaves. Step 10. Other than that delayed two hit swing you just saw, this fire attack is one of the last moves you really need to look out for. He's going to walk towards you while breathing fire forward and on the ground. You cannot avoid this from in front of him, so you need to try to get behind him and watch out because at the start of the attack there will be a slight AoE. You can jump or roll to avoid it, and if you're safely behind him, you can start attacking or get ready to hit him with a heavy. Note, the stairs or being uphill from an enemy will affect their attacks, such as this case where the fire is being blocked by the stairs. Ah yes, and how could I forget the dragon grab attack? He yells and quickly snatches you up, followed by heavy damage. Roll towards at the right time to avoid this attack. So times like these, you need to keep calm and remember your training. Good job, Tarnished. Now time for the bonus tips. 
Tip 1. Godric is vulnerable to poison and scarlet rot. The jellyfish summon is extremely powerful in early game and against Godric in particular. Tip 2. The skill Bloody Slash is very effective against them. You can find this at the top of Fort Height. Tip 3. Claws are very effective as well, which are fast and deal bleed damage. Tip 4. I recommend not passing too far past level 40 before fighting him, though even round 30 shouldn't be too much trouble, especially if using summons of any kind. And that's all for Godric the Grafted. Just remember if you're having trouble to get behind him, turn all of his fire attacks as they have some charge up and there's usually free hits to be had. Remember almost all his attacks are delayed so you will suffer greatly for rolling prematurely. If you like this video or found it helpful feel free to give it a thumbs up and why not graph these guys into your YouTube by hitting the subscribe button. That's all for now folks, good luck and take care.